Imagine waking up tomorrow knowing you'll only eat once, and your body immediately begins reacting to that change. Within a few hours, hunger hormones rise, your stomach feels tighter, and your mind becomes more aware of every signal telling you it's time to eat. Your blood sugar starts to dip, making your focus shift and your mood slightly less stable than usual. As the day goes on, your body begins pulling energy from stored sources, switching from its normal eating rhythm to a more defensive one. You may notice waves of hunger, moments of clarity, or periods of low energy, depending on how well your system adapts. And while eating once a day sounds simple, the biological changes it creates are far more complex. And understanding those changes is the only way to know if this routine is right for you. When you eat only once a day, the effects don't stay on the surface. They build quietly over time. Researchers call this shift a metabolic transition, where hormones, blood sugar, and energy use begin to change direction. It's a bit like running your day on a limited battery, and every decision starts to matter. You may feel dips in mood, trouble focusing, or sudden waves of fatigue. But the first days also unlock surprising short-term benefits, and we'll break down each phase step-by-step step next. Right after your one meal of the day, your body does what it always does. Your blood sugar rises, insulin shows up to move that sugar where it needs to go, and everything feels normal for a moment. You may even think, this one meal thing is not bad at all. But by hour four, your stomach starts ringing the hunger alarm again. That does not mean you are out of fuel. It just means your body is used to eating more often. Harvard researchers found that the hunger hormone ghrelin rises based on your usual schedule, not based on true need. So when your stomach growls around hour five or six, it is not danger. <laughs> it is, habit. You might feel annoyed or dramatic, but physically you still have plenty of stored energy. Most adults carry enough fat stores to keep the body going for several days, even if the mind does not always believe it. 8 to 12 hours. Now your body starts tapping into glycogen stored in your liver. Think of it as your private snack drawer. Most people burn through it between 8 and 12 hours. As this drops, your brain reacts, mood shifts, dips in focus, and noticing every food commercial are all normal. The National Institutes of Health notes that alertness hormones rise a bit during early fasting, which is why you feel both tired and sharp at the same time. Hunger comes in short waves lasting 10 to 20 minutes, and studies show these waves show up even when you do not need calories. Once a wave passes, your energy smooths out. Many people are surprised at how fine they feel minutes later. This is when you realize you are not hungry all day just at certain moments. 16 to 20 hours. This is when the real shift begins. With glycogen low, your body switches to burning fat. A review in the New England Journal of Medicine explains that this shift improves metabolic health, lowers inflammation, and supports brain function. A study in Nature Metabolism also found that people often feel clearer during this stage because ketones create steady fuel for the brain. You might feel colder or lighter, but hunger usually fades. Your body finally accepts that more food is not coming, so it stops nagging and uses stored fat instead. Many people report they feel focused and oddly calm, almost like their brain switched into efficiency mode. At the 24-hour point, things go deeper. Ketones rise more, inflammation drops further, and your cells start cleaning out older damaged parts through a process called autophagy. Scientist Yoshinori Osumi won a Nobel Prize for showing how this works, and fasting is one of the strongest ways to trigger it. You may not feel the cleanup happening, but the benefits are real. People often say this stage feels surprisingly peaceful. Your appetite steadies, your mood evens out, and your body feels lighter, not from starving, but from avoiding constant spikes and crashes. A study in cell metabolism shows even one day of fasting can reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity. So even if you feel a bit tired, your body is quietly doing solid repair work. 
By the end of the first day, your body has handled a lot. It moved past habit hunger, used up short-term sugar, switched to fat, sharpened your focus, lowered inflammation, and began repairing cells. Your body usually manages this shift better than your mind. The first day of eating once is not about starving, it is about adjusting. And once you understand what is happening, continuing feels far less intimidating. 24 to 36 hours. Once you pass the 24 hour mark, your body stops acting confused and starts acting organized. Ketones become your main fuel, and they actually support your brain better than glucose in many situations. Studies from Oxford show that ketones provide steady, clean energy, which explains why people often feel calm or clear-headed even though they haven't eaten. Weeks of the one-meal routine, long-term adaptation. After a few weeks, eating one meal a day becomes less of a challenge and more of a steady routine. Hunger becomes predictable, usually appearing only around the time you normally eat. Research from Stanford University and the National Institutes of Health shows improvements in insulin sensitivity, inflammation, and overall metabolic health with time-restricted eating, and many of those benefits also appear in people who follow the one-meal schedule. Many people sleep better, feel more focused, and lose weight at a steady pace. Of course, eating only once a day is not for everyone, especially if the single meal is too small or missing important nutrients. But once the body adjusts, this routine often feels simpler and more stable than eating throughout the day. Even though eating one meal a day has real benefits, it is not a magic solution, and it definitely is not something that works the same for everyone. After the initial excitement of burning fat, it is important to understand the possible downsides. Your body can adapt well to one single meal, but only if that meal actually provides enough nutrition. Many people underestimate this, and that is when problems begin. The biggest risk is eating too little. One meal may sound simple, but fitting a full day's worth of protein, vitamins, and minerals into a single plate is not easy. When people undereat for days or weeks, they may feel tired, cold, or weak. Studies from the University of Illinois show that eating far too few calories can slow the metabolism over time, making weight loss more difficult instead of easier. So the rule is simple, a one-meal routine does not work if the meal is too small. Another concern is hormone sensitivity, especially for women. Research on time-restricted eating shows that some women may experience stronger hormonal reactions when fasting for long periods. Some report fatigue, mood swings, or changes in their menstrual cycle when they consistently eat too little. It does not affect everyone, but it happens often enough to pay attention. A clear warning sign is when your energy keeps dropping instead of improving after the first week. There is also the issue of overeating. For many people, waiting the whole day to eat can cause them to rush through the meal or choose foods they normally would not. That jump from I am starving to I cannot take another bite can stress your digestive system. Doctors at the Cleveland Clinic note that irregular eating patterns can trigger cravings or overeating if a person is not prepared for the routine mentally. Lifestyle matters too. If you are already dealing with stress, lack of sleep, or drinking too much caffeine, a long fasting window can feel harder. Your body may react to the long break between meals as another source of stress, raising cortisol and making you feel tense or irritable. People with physically demanding jobs or intense training schedules may also struggle if their single meal does not provide enough fuel. Your muscles still need protein and carbohydrates to recover, even if you are fasting. Some groups should avoid eating one meal a day entirely. People with diabetes or unstable blood sugar, pregnant or breastfeeding women, teenagers who are still growing, anyone with a history of eating disorders. People with chronic illnesses unless approved by a doctor. There is nothing wrong with wanting to challenge yourself, but it has to be done safely. A common misunderstanding is thinking that eating one meal a day means eat almost nothing and lose weight fast. That is not what this routine is. That is starvation, and it never works long term. The real one-meal approach is structured, intentional, and built around a meal that actually nourishes you. 
When done correctly, studies from Stanford University and the National Institutes of Health show it can support metabolic health, lower inflammation, and help with weight management. But if done carelessly, it can drain your energy and make you feel worse. In the end, eating one meal a day is simply a tool. Some people love it, some people do not, and that is perfectly fine. What matters most is whether your body feels clearer, calmer, and more stable with it. If it does, wonderful. If it does not, there are many other ways to improve your health without sticking to a strict schedule. You are not trying to win a fasting competition. You are trying to build a lifestyle that helps you feel better every day. Um, eating one meal a day is not about trying to be a superhero. It is simply a way to see how your body behaves when you stop feeding it every few hours. You watched how hunger shows up, how your energy shifts around, and how your body starts doing its own cleanup work. And the funny thing is, you learn a lot about yourself along the way. You discover which cravings are real and which ones are just boredom pretending to be hunger. You notice that your body has more backup energy than you ever gave it credit for. And you realize you can stay calm even when your stomach tries to act dramatic. If you want to try this routine, go slowly and pay attention to how you feel. Your body will always tell you the truth. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments if you would ever try one meal a day.